Hi there, DIY Dave here. <laughs> Thank you very much, buddy. In today's episode, as you can see, it's going to be a fun one. It's with these very little guys. I'm going to show you how I actually went about making this arm. Really important step in the grooming process. Without it, you actually have to struggle with them, unless you have a dog that will just sit there and, and won't do anything. The mailman. Without the arm, grooming these dogs is a very difficult task. They have, actually have a really hard time. They do not sit on the table. They will not stand up like this. Without a table, if I do it on the floor, it's, it's a waste of time. They just won't get it done or you won't get it done properly. And so I figured out a way like, all right, I can go out and I can buy an arm, right, which is probably about 50 bucks if you buy it straight up. Or I can look around my house for what pieces I have and how actually how I built this. Luckily enough, I had some PVC pipe. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it with PVC pipe. I actually thought it wasn't going to be as sturdy. But for these guys, who he's about 18 pounds, it actually works pretty good. If you look here, he'll move around, right? But I can position him. I can push him around, right? It doesn't really move too much. I can sit there and I can go and I can go through the grooming steps. And you see through here, he'll let me groom him. And he doesn't really move around. And so it actually really holds. And so I was really surprised. I figured I had the pipe. It's worth the try. It worked. And so now I want to show you how I actually go about building this and what I did to take the steps to build this complete arm. I wouldn't advise you doing this for a bigger dog. If you have a bigger dog, such as a lab or anything over 40 pounds, I don't know that I would actually use this. You have to use your best judgment, what you think your dog is going to be capable of. Obviously, I custom built this. Uh, for the dimensions of my dog and how I custom built that was essentially I took the height of him from his floor to the head and I gave myself a few inches from the bottom of the table to the this lead of the pipe so that I can work around and I can actually get through it. But that's pretty much all I did. It was pretty easy and so far I've been through about three cuts with the dogs and it's been great. It's been perfect. And so on, let me show you what I do there and how I construct it and, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to run you through the list of items that I use to create my arm. Started with a piece of wood. I knew I'm going to have to use something to clamp down onto the table. And a piece of wood is always a good base. I found this, which is a light cover, an outdoor light cover. And you can find this in the electrical section of your hardware store. And this wood base, I'm just going to insert it right on top of here. Right? And then I'm going to build on it. I'm going to put a pipe nipple. It's three inches long. It's half inch actual threads right here. And so this is half inch. This is half inch. This goes right into here like that. All right, so now I needed to figure out how do I actually then connect the PVC to this base here. And that meant that I have to get inventive. And so I went through and I started mix and matching parts. So I found this bushing. This bushing is a female half inch and a male three quarter inch, which is perfect for this PVC part, right? This PVC part is a threaded three quarter right here, it's threaded three quarters in here. And then this side is a three quarter slot, which the pipe fits directly into there. And so I can take the bushing and I can connect the two on the three quarter male side. I thread it through. And then I have this that goes right through here. And then I can take this half inch female side and thread it right into this pipe nipple. And as you can see, now I'm starting to build the base. So we'll go through those steps and then I'll show you what the next parts that I use. So here I'll take the drill, go through, shoot it in. And so here now I have a base. Now I can take my channel locks and I can really turn this in. Essentially you want to turn it till it doesn't turn anymore. All right, so now I'm going to want to do the same thing with this. And you want to take this piece and you want to tighten this down. Again, as much as you can, right? You want to get it nice and tight so it's not going to move when the dogs are on there. It's about as tight as it's going to get. I don't think it's going to get much tighter. Time will tell. If anything, you just go back and you tighten it up again. All right, so now that I have this piece constructed, this is your base. This is going to be the base for what I have. This is very solid, right? It's not going to move anywhere. So now I built these PVC pipes and I cut them. And I cut it with a standard PVC pipe cutter. You can cut it with a hacksaw. You can cut it with basically anything that you can cut it with that you have. So if you look at here, I'm going to stick this in here. From this point 
to this point, I wanted it to be about 22 inches. And so I measured from here to there to 22 inches, and then I cut the pipe down to what the right size is. And so that when my dogs are up, it's custom made for my dogs. And so you do have to measure your dogs. All right, so now, now that I have this slotted in, I'm gonna show you the rest of the steps of what I do. You're starting to see what this looks like, this base here. And you have this bottom portion right here that is your base. You have you built up your connections, and now it's time to actually make the arm part. So what I'm gonna do here is use this elbow, and this elbow is gonna be a three quarter inch uh, PVC elbow. It's gonna slot it in right here. And so now you have your elbow that's fastened right there. And then I'm gonna take this PVC, which is the arm that goes out. And so this, this piece from here to here is the piece where you wanna make sure that your dog's height is gonna fit comfortably so that you can cut around it. Uh, you can do rough measurements, it's not rocket science. Just measure from the bottom of the paws to the uh, top of the head and then give yourself seven inches or so, right? So that you can work with. In this arm, I already pre-drilled a hole right here. And this hole is for an eyelet that I'm gonna use to fasten the leash. Now, what I've learned from experience, I'm not gonna use it so much to fasten the leash to clip it on, it's something to wrap the leash around. And I'll show you what that looks like. So now I just insert this pipe into here, make sure it's nice and sound. You go through, and there you have it, right? Now you have what is your construction of your arm. And this is what the arm then looks like. Here is your dog arm, right? Let's go and put this eyelet on. Let's go ahead and put it through. There we go, there we go. It's just more for support than anything else. Here you have that. So now you have what here is your arm and you have your leads that you can put this to. All right, so now it's time to make these pieces secure. Now you can use cement glue, uh, PVC cement glue, or you can use screws. For me, I'm just gonna take my gun and I'm gonna use some screws on this one. So here, I'll go back here. like that. Go on the other side, top pipe, right? So I have it on the bottom one. Now I'm going to screw this one in. Now important, you obviously don't want to get screws that are long enough to go through. So you just want to make sure that they fit exactly. All right, this one I will go right here. As he barks, he's getting ready. He's like, wait a minute, not time for a haircut. But there you have it. There you have your dog arm. And it's something I made probably probably with all the parts that I had to buy, mainly this base part and these bushings. Uh, just under 10 bucks or just over 10 bucks. I can't remember, but I think it was just over 10 bucks. Everything else I had. I imagine if you wanted to build this all out of scratch from yourself, if you had the right tools to be able to do it, which is just a channel locks and a drill uh, and some screws, it would probably cost you somewhere around 15 bucks. This PVC pipe is three bucks for 10 feet. So it's really, it's really inexpensive. These elbows are 50 cents. This, this connection was 50 cents. This bushing, this galvanized bushing is the most expensive part out of all this that I had to build. Uh, I think it was about 450 or $4 or something like that. But when you look at it, you have an actual arm that you can use. For my purposes, it's small dogs, they're 18 pounds, right? And uh, easy to get up there and they're not gonna really jostle it too much. It keeps them where they're supposed to be. And so I'll actually show you what I do with my dogs here so that you can see how the dog is placed on the table. Come here, Lucky. Which one wants to go up? You wanna go up? You wanna go up? Now, here you go. Put Lucky up here. This is a detachable collar. I use this as my lead. Again, this is for a small dog. I wouldn't use something like this for a bigger dog. Stand up straight. There we go. I just loop this around. I don't necessarily use the hook and eye part. I just take this and I just loop it around and do this. And now what I can do, I can take my clipper and I can go down and I can shave him. I can go down, go like this. I can shave him this way. And you see, he's really not moving. He's not going anywhere. And so if I need to get under here, I will take his tail, go under, same thing, right? Take his tail, go under and see how he wants to move. But he really can't move. I know, baby. And here it helps me get this get this whole grooming process done. So he's been a great rock star. He already got his hair cut. He doesn't have another one, so I'm gonna leave him there. Uh, here we go, we'll get him down. And that, there you have it. So this is the point of my channel, is to show you that you can do these things yourself. If you have a furry little guy like this and you wanna get him groomed, this is gonna be a great help for you, right? It's gonna, it's gonna really improve your process and speed it up and actually make their cuts a lot better. It's what the professionals use, so it's gonna be what I use and it's been great.
if you'd like to see how I set up my own table, I have a video on that, so check it out. It's actually a real good video. It just very quickly shows you what I use around the house to set up a table to start to groom them because I tried grooming them on the floor and it doesn't work. They just go crazy. I tried grooming on the top of a table without an arm. Uh, it kind of works, but you kind of have to really struggle with them and fight and you have to keep them on there. This arm is very, very helpful. And as long as you take this side and you clamp them down to the table, you're good to go and everything's ready to go. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you learned something. And I hope you can take something away from this with your dog grooming needs. And, and I really uh, would love to see you again. So if you, if you can, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. And I'll bring more to you. Everything from cooking, home repair, automotive, uh, oddball things like this. Uh, whatever I can actually go around and I have time, I'm going to video record. I'm going to put it on the channel. And hopefully you can learn something from it. So thank you for watching and take care. I hope to see you again. Happy DIY. I'm out.